Hey everyone, did you know engineers are hard at work designing new types of roads like glow-in-the-dark roads and roads made out of plastic? So join me for today's video because we're going to take a look at 15 amazing future road designs. Number 15. Glow-in-the-dark roads Driving down an open road can be an awesome experience, that is until the sun goes down. A lack of lights can be pretty intimidating and sometimes dangerous, which is why companies are trying to help drivers out with a glow-in-the-dark road. Don't expect the entire road to have a bright neon glow, though, because what they do here is simply light up markings along the pavement to help motorists see. It's a much more realistic, cheaper, and eco-friendly alternative to sticking hanging lights everywhere, and it just looks cooler anyway. But how exactly do they work? Well, these glow-in-the-dark markings are all made of paint that contains a photoluminescing powder that charges during the day, so by the time the sun goes down, they're ready to go. But if the idea of glow-in-the-dark road sounds like it's too far in the future for you, then why not take a drive down the N329 highway in the Netherlands if you can, because they've already employed it there. The glowing green markings extend for 1,600 feet and glow 8 hours every night. Number 14. Geowebs a lot of work goes into creating a new road. It's not like they just lay down the pavement wherever and call it a day. No way. The conditions have to be perfect, and the next entry on this list aims to make things a lot easier and cheaper for the crews doing all the dirty work. GeoWeb is a fun little contraption that allows builders and construction workers to design flexibility for unpaved roadway surfaces and base stabilization for when it's finally time to lay down the pavement. GeoWeb is a 3D structure that keeps the base road layer extra strong, giving the next layers of asphalt and concrete a better foundation, meaning the roads are going to stay smoother longer. It really is a simple design with an ingenious purpose. But the GeoWeb also makes for a more permeable road that needs half the infill. It also has got some great environmental benefits in there as well. The GeoWeb reduces the amount of stormwater runoff by creating its own retention basin, and the permeable material also helps to keep the pavement cool in those hotter months. But even when crews are laying it down, it's incredibly easy to install and makes everyone's job easier when filling it up. Number 13. Plastic Roads Plastics, they've become a serious problem for humanity. It's everywhere, even living in our bodies rent-free as microplastics. So, with many new initiatives to promote recycling and reusing these plastics instead of just tossing them into the trash after a single use, why not try to incorporate them into our roads? According to the Wildlife Fund, concrete production contributes to 8% of global CO2 emissions every year. It's made from quarried aggregates like limestone, granite, or sand, which is bound with cement, asphalt, and other agents. But what if we replace these finite resources with one of humanity's infamous byproducts, such as plastic? India's been filling potholes using plastic as a binder on a small scale for years. UK engineer Toby McCartney has even developed a way to turn recycled plastic into pellets that can be added to asphalt to decrease the use of binders. This process makes the road considerably stronger and lasts much longer than traditional material, all while finding a more productive way to recycle and reuse all of our plastic waste. The UK has already adopted this technique for all new roadways, but all of this comes with a bit of a catch. As the road breaks down, small microparticles of plastic are released into the surrounding environment and can have detrimental impacts on wildlife and human health. So it begs the question, is life in plastic really fantastic? Number 12. Jigsaw Roads Not just for puzzle enthusiasts, jigsaws are now coming to a road near you. The Dutch company KWS has teamed up with the folks at Waven and Total to develop a new plastic road that will fit together much like the pieces of a puzzle. It's created from recycled plastic. The plastic road project will make prefabricated modular roadways, which are 70% faster to build. But their hollowed out design makes them four times lighter than asphalt and allows for pipes and cables to be installed without extensive digging and has the capacity to store excess water during storms and floods. And while plastic is inherently bad for Mother Earth, these plastic roads are a brilliant idea. Gone would be the days of non-stop and excessive construction, tearing up asphalt only to seal it back up again weeks later. These road designs make things better for literally everyone and can even help give new life to all the plastic humans are constantly throwing away. Seeing as how most plastics don't degrade, why not use them to build a better road? But if these jigsaw plastic roads sound too good to be true, they underwent a relatively successful trial phase in September of 2018 with the opening of bike paths in the Netherlands. 
and while using these roads may not be the most pragmatic choice for, say, a highway, they are certainly the perfect addition to smaller areas. Number 11. Synchronized Traffic Signals We all know that traffic is an enormous pain in the ass, but it happens for all sorts of reasons, the obvious being too many cars on the road or an accident a few blocks ahead. Either way, something like this can turn a 15-minute drive into an hour-long drive, and nobody wants that. But another less known reason for bad traffic is poor traffic signal synchronization. Never heard of it? Well, traffic signal synchronization involves the engineering of getting traffic signals and green lights to match up at successive intersections to maximize traffic flow along a specific route. It's the reason why every light doesn't turn green, yellow, or red at the exact same time. But that doesn't mean it's perfect, far from it, which is why cities are doing their best to sync things up perfectly. In fact, Los Angeles, California is the first major city in the world to fully synchronize all of its traffic signals. Their automated traffic surveillance and control system is one of the world's most comprehensive traffic systems for alleviating traffic, synchronizing all 4,400 of its traffic signals by using magnetic sensors in the road to measure the flow of traffic. This system also uses cameras and a centralized computer system that receives information from the sensor network and automatically makes adjustments to the traffic flow as needed. It's almost as if the traffic lights are speaking to one another in the city with the sixth highest traffic congestion in the country. Number 10. Intelligent Speed Bumps A lot of motorists think speed bumps are dumb, but then what about intelligent speed bumps? Even something such as a speed bump isn't safe from getting a technological makeover, turning this suspension-ruining lump of concrete into something a little more user-friendly. Because even if a motorist doesn't speed right over it without a care in the world, the method of coming to a complete stop and driving over it slowly isn't helping the environment, because that stop-start strategy creates a massive spike in emissions. So the intelligent speed bump comes equipped with a system that detects the speed of the oncoming vehicle and acts accordingly. Anyone traveling at the speed limit, typically 25 miles an hour, will feel just the slightest bump and then be on their way. But anyone going over that speed limit is going to watch the intelligent speed bump rise up to meet them, therefore having to slow down. Another simple yet smart idea that only punishes speeding motorists. But if the intelligent speed bump sounds a little too good to be true, then just ask the residents of Guanajuato, Mexico, who were part of a three-month trial with one installed along the road adjacent to a local school. Number 9. Roads That Honk In a move to make crazy highways a whole lot safer, HP Lubricants and Leo Burnett India came together to develop their Roads That Honk. The first prototype of the system was installed on India's NH1, the highway connecting Jammu and Srinagar which is known for being one of the most dangerous roads in the world. So what exactly is a road that honks? This newly employed system locates smart life poles at sharp curves and hairpin bends that employ advanced network devices combining wireless technology, radar systems, and anti-collision warning system, all powered by solar PV modules. Smart life poles are placed on each side of key hairpin bends, which detect the speeds of oncoming vehicles and communicate with each other to caution approaching vehicles on either side by sounding a horn. All of this is made possible by transmitting an electromagnetic wave and then measuring the frequency shift of the reflected wave. This frequency shift is caused by the Doppler effect of the moving target on the electromagnetic wave, and so as the relative speed between the radar sensor and the target increases, the detected frequency shift also increases, thus enabling the radar sensor to precisely determine the target speed. It may seem incredibly complicated, but at the end of the day, does that really matter when these new roads are saving lives? Number 8. Data Collecting Roads Does everybody want our data these days? Well, maybe but now roads are throwing their names into that data collecting hat. With vehicles and infrastructures becoming more connected than ever before, transit authorities are looking to collect more and more traffic data. They want to know everything from driving conditions, speed, and even the state of the road surfaces. And the more information they have, then the greater the improvements that can be made. More road data means something like being able to accurately adjust the frequency of stoplights depending on the traffic needs. At any given moment, an integrated digital system can access information about vehicles that are in the area, the speeds at which they are moving, and the general state of the traffic and the road, thus permitting stoplights to open or close to avoid traffic jams. The roads, in a sense, are talking with each other, reducing congestion at urban hotspots and will also have a domino effect, because by optimizing traffic flow and minimizing the length of these traffic jams, we can lower the levels of CO2 emissions caused by motorized vehicles. 
At the same time, the data they gathered by these chatty highways will serve to identify problematic zones in which there have been many accidents or risky situations. Starting there, it will be possible to determine if the cause is a sign or a traffic light or cross traffic, all in real time. Number 7. Talking Highways Thanks to smartphones, we've been able to talk to our friends and family around the world for years, and some companies and engineers are working to move transportation systems in that direction as well, making trips both long and short safer and simpler. This car roadway connectivity is going to change the driving experience forever. The projects for intelligent signs don't want these signs limited to the visual display of information. Just as a GPS system provides warnings about surrounding signs, in the future, those very signs will be able to send messages that warn drivers about their content. Inside the car, the driver will receive an audible warning with the message from the sign, or it will appear on the screen of the vehicle. Not only will this increase safety even when there's poor visibility, but it can also mean that autonomous vehicles will no longer need complex systems of sign recognition. In addition, even though this may mean more drivers will be fined, intelligent studies will simplify the process of detecting and notifying driver infractions. According to the Singularity Hub Innovative Think Tank, the black boxes of cars can store a register of such infractions. The news of these infractions will be automatically sent to the authorities. Through the interconnection between vehicles, highways, and traffic management systems, there will be an increase in safety. With the extension of many of the systems already installed in the first autonomous cars, the vehicles and roads themselves can make decisions, such as stopping a car in a dangerous situation or reducing its speed in a certain area. Number 6. The Sky well, with each passing day, science fiction becomes more of a reality. Star Trek gave us things like video calling, cell phones, and 3D printers. Minority Report showed us driverless cars, even 1902's Le Voyage dans la Lune predicted humans on the moon. But how about flying cars as we saw in the Jetsons? Well, the short answer is yeah. Engineers and vehicle manufacturers are working hard to make personal flying vehicles with some pretty astounding results. There's the homemade LMV 496 La Moto Volante, a hovering motorcycle, the X Turismo Hoverbike, SkyDrive Model SD03, Samson Sky Switchblade, and Synergy aircraft, all of which will allow drivers to get up into the air. So then, these new technologies beg the question, will the sky become the new road? Well, probably not anytime soon, but make no mistake, it's coming. Because what good is a flying car or personal low-flying aircraft if you cannot wield it? But, of course, roads in the sky mean all sorts of rules and regulations, aerial traffic laws, and flying stop signs. And if cars start flying, does that mean pedestrians will start wearing jetpacks? Time will tell. Number 5. Hyperloops Companies like Virgin, Tesla, and The Boring Company are looking to ease our commutes by creating hyperloops. Well, what exactly is a hyperloop? Well, a hyperloop is more or less a vacuum tube where a pod slides along a single track that's magnetized, so there's virtually no resistance. This unique engineering allows the pod to move at extremely high speeds using minimal electricity, which makes it a fairly low-cost thing to build and operate. So while the bullet trains of today travel at 200 miles an hour and commercial airplanes cruise at 500 to 600 miles an hour, the Hyperloop has projected speeds of 7 to 800 miles per hour. And since the Hyperloop can avoid the takeoff and landing that an airplane needs to get to cruising altitude, it can shave additional time off the journey and create a more efficient trip. This is hopefully the preferred method of transportation of the future, with even the likes of billionaire bad boy Elon Musk claiming to not only have invented the concept, but promising he can deliver one in the coming years. Eventually, Hyperloop routes could feature tunnels through hills and mountains and possibly even undersea routes. But the catch here is the digging and the infrastructure for those routes will be as expensive as it is time-consuming, so the jury's still out as to whether or not Hyperloops will ever become a reality. Number 4. Self-Repairing Roads Driving over poorly paved and pothole-filled roads can be a real drag and damage your car if you're not careful. And it also feels like these damn things never get fixed. Wouldn't it be awesome if roads could fix themselves? Well, researchers at the University of Bath, Cardiff, and Cambridge had the same idea and went to town to find a solution. Using cement-based construction materials, they were able to create what they call smart concrete. As opposed to dumb concrete, the smart stuff is filled with microcapsules of bacteria that germinate whenever water enters the cracks. From there, limestone is produced, therefore plugging up the crack before water and oxidation begin to ruin the steel reinforcements below. 
It is an awesome idea, and seeing as how the UK spends about 40 billion euros a year on road repair and maintenance, it's a much welcome piece of road technology. This self-healing or self-repairing technology was once used exclusively in the aerospace sectors, but once fully employed in the concrete industry, it's estimated to reduce the lifetime repair costs clean in half. Who knew that the self-help industry would seamlessly make the leap to construction and concrete? Number 3. Motion Sensors If you thought that glow-in-the-dark paint in the road was a cool idea, wait till you hear about this one. Motion sensor lights will soon be hitting the world's highways to help keep motorists safe when the sun is down. These interactive lights will be employed on certain parts of the highway and can sense the movements of each car. So as you get closer to these strips of light, they will glow more and more until you're right in the thick of it, highlighting you across the two-lane blacktop, and will begin to dim as you eventually go and move past them. These interactive lights are going to be used on highways that see less traffic at night, which are often the more ignored stretches of road. Well, not anymore. With these new lights, maybe it really will be better to take the road less traveled. Number 2. Temperature Sensitive Paint Sometimes when road conditions are bad, you don't know it until it's too late. You've already hit the road, it's all iced over, and yet there's no turning back. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that the road could tell you what to expect during the drive? Well, Studio Rusegaard from the Netherlands wants to do exactly that. The studio is conceiving a temperature-sensitive paint to employ on roads and highways that will alert drivers of bad weather. If it's snowing up ahead, you'll be the first to know. If there's a torrential downpour a few miles up ahead, the road will be your guide. Now you can choose to get off the highway and maybe call it until the weather clears up. The paint will even light up to tell you the temperature ahead, and while it all may sound silly, the thought of this type of smart, dynamic paint is a whole lot safer than checking the weather on your phone while you're driving. That is a recipe for complete disaster. The idea for temperature-sensitive paint has been making the rounds since 2012, and it's yet to be used anywhere, including in Roosgaard's home city of Rotterdam. While it's possible that this sort of idea is a little too good to be true, the same could be said about so many of the basic technologies that we become accustomed to and take advantage of using every day. Number 1. Induction Priority Lanes Tesla, they changed the world of automobiles when they started to release their electric vehicles to the masses, and now it feels like every automaker is trying to keep up with their own EVs. And while we still may find plenty of gas stations on the side of the road, you're not seeing nearly as many EV charging stations. So what are you supposed to do when your battery is low on the road? How about electric lanes? And I don't mean lanes that are strictly for EV use, but lanes that will actually charge your car as you drive over them. These induction priority lanes are going to be embedded with magnetic fields that can charge your vehicle while it's in use. It's a great way to not only charge up on the go, but help save the environment as well. Because while they may be ubiquitous, gas-powered vehicles aren't really doing the world any favors. European countries like the Netherlands tend to see a lot more EV use than those roads in North America, so there's already a bountiful market for the induction priority lanes. The days of searching for and going out of your way for an EV charger might soon be over. I'll see you next time. Watch our future playlist for more top 15 videos about the future. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best future related videos.